So Kintamani, Lake Batu, here we come. Hey guys, Dino here through Stunomatic and today, what do I say? Epic fail. Anyway, let's go on a journey guys. Don't do what I did. These are the little fuel stations here. You've got the bigger ones you can go to. to but, um, most people just use these. I'll just see if anyone's around. Hello. 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 How are you? Could I get some yeah. petrol? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a bit hard to judge sort of how they ask how many litres, but I don't know. Is that full? Maybe a little bit more? more? Yeah. Just don't want to overflow it. That, Already full. That's okay. Thank you. That's good. So we're just heading out of Ahmed at the minute. And, uh, not too far ahead, we'll get up to the uh, the main highway. We'll be taking a right there and heading along the, the main coast highway along the north coast. And then, when we see your sign to the lake, Batur, we will attempt to find it. The little swift got the market here. I'm just gonna check Google Google Maps because um, I'm not sure if this is the main highway or not. We'll have a look. All right, guys. Yeah, so it is. We're um, just gonna take this highway here. Probably go for about 40 minutes, something like that, and then we'll be um we'll start heading inland after that. Hello. And that means get out the way. He's a truck and he's coming through. So we're on the main highway. I was uh, I was thinking it'd be a lot different actually. It's quite a nice little road. It's not at the moment as busy as what I thought, but as we get closer into Singaraja, um, which we oh, we won't get to Singaraja, we'll be turning off, I think, before then, but I think it will get busy, this highway, at some stage. But uh, at the moment, touch wood, pretty cruisy. Just thought I'd have a bit of a stop on the side of the road and <clears throat> drink of water. And then I popped my head over the side of the wall and thought, well, I may as well go for an adventure. So I don't know what that sign says, but I'm not sure. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments Probably telling me I'm not meant to be going down here. I hope not. Yeah, so a lot of the highway, it, that's the main highway just there. So this is, um, it's pretty close to the, to the coast, a lot of it. I reckon we've got about another 15 minutes and we'll start heading up then into the hills. Well, we may as well come down and just have a bit of a see what the coastline is like. Now we know this is it. Let's venture on, guys. I wonder what this is here. Like a little, an old sort of fun card or something. And we've got all these ducks and Batmans and. the bizarre things you find on the side of the road. I just 
so this little street here it's like they got a bit of a bit of a circus on in town you can come and hang out and all of that stuff down the road might have had something to do with this maybe he owns that maybe he owns this so there's the local circus guys Woohoo! I don't know if it is a circus or just um just rides and that but looks pretty cool out here in the middle of nowhere so i think we're at the turn off here this is where it's there's a little road going up i don't know if it's the main one to get there so i was expecting a bit of a bigger road but Let's go see if we can find the lake. It's probably going to be at least an hour. Probably a bit more, actually. I'll just get out the way of this truck. And uh, we'll see if we can find it. We're probably going to be climbing. I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking it could be a thousand meters or something. I'm not sure. So it should be quite the, uh, quite the ride. Anyway, we'll take it as it comes. If I can't find the lake, well then we'll venture and find something. A lot of the roads pretty rough. It's not too bad, this little section. But yeah, just a tiny little windy road. And I think the trick will be they're trying to stick to the main, the main road or track because there's a lot of little roads coming off it and I'm sort of going to probably get a bit lost of where which one's going to be the main road but um, we'll work it out as we go I can um, yeah, definitely feel the uh, the altitude here Oops. the um, it's sort of starting to get up fairly high. You can feel it on the ears too. So anyway, we'll keep venturing forward. <laughs> Have to get off and walk soon, I think. The old bikes. Well, still going forward. seem to drop down in gear but anyway we're doing it somehow uh to the lake lake up that way yeah cool nice tree thank you so my break uh, my break has to cool down because the bike's just a hunk of junk no, oh, just one aqua water, thanks. Okay. So I'm gonna have a rest here with these good people. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and see if the brake can uh, cool down. He just threw a bit of water on it, so I think we'll be right. Slowly, slowly. Oh, yeah. So I'm just here talking to Putu. Putu's a guide. He's a guide and he um, does all treks and that around here. Um, now unfortunately sometimes things just don't go to plan on these travels. Um, and the bike that I've got it's just pushing it too hard. It's sort of overheated. Um, I'm just trying to let it cool down now. And Putu just let me know, he said it's probably still another hour and it's quite steep up and down. I just don't think the bike's going to handle it and I've still got to get back down. So, unfortunately guys, we're not going to see the lake today. That's the way it goes, but I'll try and stop at some really cool places on the way. And it uh, looks like a really cool temple through there actually. Temple. Is it? Temple. Temple, yeah. So everywhere you look, you find something to do. So um, if you want to have a look at uh, Lake Batur, Batur, well, um, it's a very popular place. 
there'd be plenty of people <laughs> which are doing it. So I'll try and find some other really cool little things that we can look at. These are good bike. Maybe I can rent this bike. Oh, yeah, this bike is a broken. <laughs> I'm from Perth, Australia. Yeah. Australia. So seeing we have to have a break, Pudu's going to show me around the temple. Oh uh, yeah, Australia. Yeah. Name of this temple? The uh, temple is named Temple Pura Kayuslam. When you come into these things, um, you have to, you know, don't show your knees and that. So I've actually got a sarong I can put on, but that'll do. I'll just have a bit of a look here and it's got a beautiful outlook. The island of the gods. This is a temple of Pura Kawitan Warga Kayuslam Gua Song Songan. Yeah. Very nice, it's beautiful. And the second uh, up top in this temple, yeah. 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 It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Nice. Where are you from? From Perth, Australia. Australia? Yeah. <laughs> I have been uh, oh, yeah. I have been uh, to be police at airport Mararai. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Good on you. Twenty eight years and then really? come back to my home. Yeah. Uh, six years and then now ex yeah. police. <laughs> That's ex police, yeah. That's good. Good on you. Alright. Thank you for showing yeah. me. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah. Thank you, boy. Yeah. So yeah, with the bike guys, probably partially my fault, you know, I should have hired a different style of <laughs> <laughs> the monkey. Um, it should have had a different style of bike, I suppose, but anyway, you live and learn. But it, I think the bike pretty much is cactus, but you really need one with gears, not an automatic to be coming up to up here in these places. So I'm planning waterfalls tomorrow, so we'll just have to see. I'll have to just find some that are easy to get to. I was just going to get the drone up, guys, but it's just coming real cloudy at the moment. The wind's picking up, so and all the clouds are coming in, so. The weather's coming in. They said there was a lot of rain here yesterday. I had a few problems with, so I'm gonna get myself back down the mountain. It's starting to rain now um, and try to get down. Hopefully that I can get this um, motorbike going. Fingers crossed. And hopefully all the brakes hold up all right. And, um, And that the old motorbike keeps going, so I'll just get off the road. I might just let this car get past. Hey, hey how are you? What are you doing? I'm going that way. I'm going down to the ocean. Okay. How are you? See ya. Yeah. So um. Anyway, adventure on. I don't know how these cars pass here, but they're gonna give it a go. They always seem to find a way, don't they? They're too easy. Alright guys. These coolest little houses here. And someone getting a haircut. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> and that's their view. Very cool. Shop. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Good? Lagos. Lagos. What a cool place. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm okay. Bye oh, bye. Okay. Yeah, I'm Water. gonna go. Yeah. Huh? Water. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Everyone here is really nice. They're all stopping and checking that I'm okay if I'm on the side of the road and He's saying there's water, just be careful I think if you break good. Anyway, let's hope they hold in there and uh, yeah, so live and learn when you travel guys that um, sometimes you just, you got to have all the right equipment so a uh, different sort of bike for this trip next time. But that's okay. Oh, 
awesome looking little bike. Well, we made it back to the main road anyway, so that's good. Um, so yeah, hopefully the little bike's all right. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, epic fail there, guys. Couldn't get to the lake. Um, also, the horn on the bike is broken, which anyone that has ridden before knows that one of the most important things you need on a bike here in Bali is the horn. So I'm gonna have to try and get that fixed soon as I can. Other than that, I just gotta be a bit careful. I'll have to be yelling out, honk, honk. Well, I've just been cruising along here trying to work out how am I gonna get this horn fixed. And um, I went over a bit of a bump it was fine and it just jolted around a bit and um then i just thought i'll oh, try me try me horn <laughs> and it's, it's working again the island of the gods is with me thank you bali oh guys what a day just got back into armor um, area looks like a little uh it could be chinese riding there graveyards or something here just on the side of the road so i thought i might finish the vlog here it was one of those days today guys not much went right but i'm back safely the horn's working again new beauty so things did go right and as i say a day out on the on the bike it ended up being a good ride so i hope you enjoyed it from dino at three star nomadic we'll catch you down the track.